Hello and welcome back. So now that we are ready to save answers, we should create a table. So this will be real quick. Uh, let's try to do that. Wait a minute. Okay, everything is okay. So in our database, SchoolDB, let's create a new, actually, um, let's see here. No, create a new table. Then let's call it answers and we'll have an id for the primary key and then we'll have uh, user id so that we know who this user is and then we'll have the test id and uh, what else hmm. so we have the test id and we also need the question id Okay, let's add a few more columns here. Now, the reason we need a question ID is because we're going to be saving answers one by one for each question in this table. So we're not saving the test title and everything like that, no. We're just going to save the ID of that test, the question itself, and then the answer you've given. So answer there, and then the user who is doing that, etc this should be all we need um, maybe we can add a date so that we know when the student answered this question so let's put that there and then now uh, the int maybe you can put big int because there'll be quite a number of items but it doesn't really matter int is big enough as well User ID is a variable character of 60, same with test ID. But the question ID though is an integer because we don't have, uh, let's go to test questions here. Just to confirm, yeah, we only have IDs here. We don't have a question ID that is long, so that's so good. And uh, let's see, date time here. Where is the time? There we go. Answer will be text because we really don't know what answers we're going to be putting here. Question ID is like that. Everything else remains the same. Make sure it's auto increment on the primary key here. And let's hit save. Oh, and by the way, I forgot about no values. So it's possible that uh, uh, you may not have an answer. So let's change this one. Let's put a default value of no, just in case. But everything else must be there. We must know which user this is, the test ID, the question ID. So everything else must be there. So let's just add indexes to all of these things. Like this. Test ID, add an index. Not to the answer, maybe the date, add an index. Okay, so that is pretty good. This is all we need for our answers. And uh, yeah, that should be good. Let me refresh here. Okay, great. So what will happen now is once I take the test and then I say save your answers, then it's going to collect all this data here from the inputs and we save it there. Now let's see how we're going to uh, deal with the inputs so the inputs here should get a name each uh, input name should have an id because if i inspect right now let's see what we have the name is one okay i guess that works let's go down here and refresh inspect okay the name is five that's good so back to tech test and uh, right in here where we this is test tech test tab view let's find that uh, tech test tab view and we already have a form there that's nice so tech test controller in the index let's see if we can do something before da, 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 da. where is this mm -hmm. questions i think right above here Okay, 
uh, yeah, I think right about there. If something was posted, right? So I can copy what I have from these other places. I just want that if statement for when something is posted. That's all I want. But it doesn't look like I have it here anywhere. Okay, there we go. Copy and let's paste it here. Okay, cool. For now, I just want to show the data. Let's remove this. Let me refresh and let's try to save. Okay, so as you can see now, we have all this without the answers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, except number eight, because there is no selected answer but if i select one here and click save you see that now there's an answer here on number nine which is a b so this is what we need for all of these here at least we know now that it works and then we can save to the database that we've created the new table okay so let's do that in the next video